okay, emergency averted. <laughs> it turned out it wasn't really a problem with the brass. It was just the fact that the uh, transfer head, you know, still moves around a bit because it's not. Uh, I don't even have the second bolt in it yet, but that that little bit of movement was not allowing the top holes to line up. So now we just gotta tighten up the screws and. Put that last bolt in. Then we can install the chain and the belt and the uh, upper bearing housing. And then we'll see in another day or so if we you know get any more coal chips leaking out of here hopefully this fixes it if not we'll just put the uh, coal chip collector back on oh we'll put the coal chip collector under it anyway we'll just empty it now and make sure that it uh, stays empty does, we'll call it a win. Okay, that's that. Where's this other bolt? There it is. Nuts. Gold chip collector. One nut on there. I've been just letting the fan run, so it, uh, there's a heat call, the fan just comes on. Now these bolts go from the inside, which makes it interesting. Find the hole on the inside. Wangle things around a little bit. It's a snug fit. Chip collector on there. Let's see how did this go? Fine, I believe. Trench. Make that snug. Empty cold chip collector. I just throw them back the fire. That way they turn into home heating BTUs. Okay. Ugh, what a mess. So next, all we got to do is put the chain on and put the belt back on and you'll be ready to go. We got a light here. So you can look down in here. There's the coal down there. Transfer head is empty right now. You can see the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. The packing ring around the edge there. There's actually no coal up in there, so. Hang on a second here, and we will. Uh, 
mine some coal into it. do this when the chain is off of it, so good idea. It's a good way to make sure your auger is full and transfer head stays full. Pretty good. Coal's winding up in there. As you can see. Uh, now we shall put the belt and the chain back on and clean up this mess. Yeah. <laughs> 